Hello, Leo. Thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 25th of December. I'd like to wish you a very happy Christmas. The week begins with Venus, the planet of love and affection, moving out of the most glamorous and playful part of your scope into a much more practical one. Now, over the last six months or even nine, if we include the move of the North Node inverting back into your sign last May, you've had much more of a sense of asserting your individuality. This change of Venus and this week can see you perhaps needing to consider the needs of others a bit more uh, again. Of course, Uranus over recent years has been pushing you to be more rebellious and freedom-loving. And any situation which was really uh, penning you in, you probably have tried to break free from. But now there could be a bit more of those obligations. And of course, Christmas is about that. It's about give and take. And you may find yourself in a position where you need to organise things and you can do it marvellously well. Because Venus is going to be allied alongside Saturn and also the Sun. So your attention to detail can be absolutely superb. And that can help you to make sure that anything that you're involved with arranging can run very smoothly. But in a wider sense... This is the part of your horoscope that is to do with health, fitness, diet. And before the end of the year, for us all, we often think about the things we'd like to change in the new year. But this year, I think there's going to be an even greater focus on the structure of your situation, whether it's running quite as smoothly as you would like. And if you do decide to invest energy in some kind of new objective for the new year, I think you're going to take it very seriously indeed. But that reorganisation reorgan could be about your home, where you live and how you live there, about perhaps operating a business in your environment. Anything to do with just giving you a sense that things just flow without too much resistance is going to really appeal to you, even if it doesn't sound enormously sexy. And yet, Mercury, the planet of communication, does remain in the most playful zone for the whole of this Christmas period. But it is squaring up with Neptune this week. So in a romantic relationship, if it seems that your partner doesn't seem to contribute quite as much as you would like them to, or perhaps it's them pushing you to do your share, some give and take here can just help to create a bit of a fairer share of things. But just communicating your message may require a little bit of charm and some wit, because otherwise with Saturn now in your sixth solar house, you could come across as being a bit more, uh, a bit sharper and a bit more penetrating in the way that you express what you want. However, as the year comes to a close, Mars and Jupiter are combining. And if you do host the party over New Year's Eve, I think you're going to do it in a very uh, positive way. You're going to put a lot of energy into it and make sure that everyone's needs are really met fantastically well. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now. Thank you for joining me. If you'd like to know more, please visit my website at www.patrickarundel.com or download my free app in iOS, Google or Facebook at www.horoscope-ace.com. Thanks and goodbye.